Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Shalom, Israel, Moses, and Christ bless. Another 15 minutes with the captain. My name is Captain Barnabas, and on my right, Officer Yohani. Yes, so the topic today we are going the topic is about redemption. You understand? Redeem. You understand? We can get redeemed. You understand? Because they taught us in everywhere, they're telling us that you can call him Allah. Any name you want to call him, and you want to say it is, they said it's. One God, it's one God, right? So I'm just saying, who redemption, who can get redemption and who the, who redemption can come to? You understand? If you can call upon Islam or walk around the rock and get redemption. So we're going to go to the, the scriptures to let you know that redemption is only for one people. You understand? And God have people what he cared for and people what he, he hate. That's what I have to say, for real, because we have to just bring it out real and straight to our people, because our people just want to feel good. They don't want to hear the truth, but the truth is here. You understand? Give me Exodus 6 and 6 for the first scripture. Exodus chapter 6, verse 6. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians, and I will rid you of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgments. So I'm saying, so the Mosai said to the Israelites, because remember the book, what, what we as, 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 as people are, are the sons of God, are the people of God don't understand. When the Bible was issued, it was issued to one race of people. It was just issued to the Israelites. So why in the last days everybody want to read the Bible? Everybody want to compare themselves to the Bible and want to say, okay, now after they give us all these religion and the, 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 the things what they teach us in the Bible, they, they destroyed us and now they want to tell us. The same people who destroyed us with the Bible want to tell us, okay, God love us too. Let us see if they're going to get redemption. Give me that in Second Samuel 7 verse 23, 24. So redemption is only for what? The Israelites. That's what the Bible said. Watch this. Yeah, Second Samuel 7 verse 23, 24. Just watch this. Second mm -hmm. Samuel Chapter 7, verse 23. Mm -hmm. And what nation is in the earth is like thy people. You see what I'm saying? So we want to ask. Can it? Because everybody want to say we're equal. You understand? But at the end of the day, we don't have to put on a spine glass to see that that's a lie. You understand? He said, which one nation upon the face of the earth is like what? It's like thy people. Thy people. Let me see who is God's people. That, that thy people is. Come on. Even like Israel. What? Even like Israel. So we want to know, not because we are the bottom, not because we live in the slum, in the ghetto. We want to find out which one other people more greater than us as a people. Come on. Whom God went to redeem. What? Who God went to redeem for a people to himself. So I'm saying, so God went to redeem the Israelites for our people, for himself. Not every race upon the face of the earth. You understand? Not every race. So when these scriptures come out, tell them to counteract all these scriptures that are coming out. Tell them to find a scripture what God love all the other race. Or show me what most I can say. Okay, I love Isa, or I love Elam, or I love Moab. Show me them. Show me all those scriptures. I don't read. I, when I read the Bible, I see what God said. 
These people I hate, these people are the people who I consider less. You understand? They consider God consider them as like the dunghill. If you know what dunghill means, you can dig up, dig up the definition for dunghill. You understand? These are the things what God said to the other race. You understand? Give me first chronicle 17, verse 21. Watch this. So redemption is cannot be for everybody. You understand? Because I read the Bible. You understand? We read the Bible and see that no, we, the whole entire Bible from Exodus straight back. Straight back to Revelation talking about the Israelites. Gonna get redeemed. Come on. First Chronicles chapter 17, verse 21. Mm -hmm. And what nation in the earth is like thy people Israel? So now we have once again the book of Chronicles. We just read Second Samuel. Now we're reading First Chronicles 17, verse 21. What are the race upon the face of the earth like the Israelites? Come on. Whom God went to redeem to be his own people. Whoa. So God went to redeem the Israelites to be his own people. Jump to verse 24. Come on. Verse 24. Uh -huh. Let it even be established uh -huh. that the name may be magnified forever. What? That the name may be magnified forever. So it's not just only out of Egypt. God, God said, no, it's not just, just, just <laughs> in the time of Egypt when I redeem you. God said, this is going to be forever. That's what God said, bro. So show me, I ask the pastors, I ask the people, theology school, who feel like they know the Bible more than the Israelites. Tell them to show scriptures that God said, okay, different from what we're showing right now. Prove it to us. That's God love all the other race. No, it shows just now so God only redeemed the Israelites and it's going to be forever. You understand? Finish that up. You have more? Let's read Come it. on. Saying, the Lord of hosts is the God of Israel. Uh oh So the God is only for the God of Israel. God is only for the God of Israel. You finish that, right? Even a God to Israel. What? Even a God to Israel. So God have to go so deep for the other rest to know that? God said, even to the what? Even to the, even a God to Israel. And a God to who again? To Israel. A God to the Israelites. God is only for the Israelites and to the Israelites. That's when we said the Bible was for the Israelites and was Israel to the Israelites. This, this is the scripture right here. You see what I'm saying? Give me that in, in Psalms. 130, verse 7 and 8. The, when we said the Bible for the Israelites, was for the Israelites. This is the scripture I read right there. Show you. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't going after how we feel. You understand? We're going to go to scriptures to show you. Yes, yeah, Psalms 130, verse 7 and 8. Psalms, chap, Psalms 130, verse 7. Mm -hmm. Let Israel hope in the Lord. So the most I said, our hope is supposed to be in the Lord, not in America. No, he, he, we know. In, 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 in England, are we in the highlands and we, we live in good? We feel like our hope is supposed to be in the house, what we're in, are the cars. No, our hope is supposed to be in God. Come on. For with the Lord, there is mercy. For in the Lord, there is mercy. You understand? So, brothers and sisters, not because they are at the bottom, not because they've been trying to put the most sickness in our community, the most bad food and all these things. No, our hope is supposed to be in the Lord. Come on. And with him is plenteous. Redemption. You can't even count plenteous, guy. If you dig up plenteous, it's gonna show you the definition. You understand? And if, if you want to go to the synonym, it's gonna show you. Plenteous is 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 uncountable, bro. That's what God said. With us is plenteous, bro. Plenteous redemption. <laughs> Come on. Verse eight. Uh -huh. And he shall redeem what? And he shall redeem Israel from all his iniquity. All his iniquity, bro. That's what God said. We are the only one can get redeemed, bro. That's why I'm trying to find scriptures. I'm trying to find scripture where God said, God is for everybody. No, he's not there. Luke 1 verse 60, there are very precious scriptures I would like to read. Come on. So these are the things, bro. We're going we gonna to ask questions. You understand? And the question what we're going to ask, nobody cannot. Nobody cannot, bro. And be confident when you ask these things too. Nobody cannot counteract what you're bringing across, bro. Nobody. Come on. Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Uh -huh. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You see what I'm saying? The both sides say, blessed be the Lord God of who? The Israelites. Watch this. For he had visited and redeemed his people. That's it, brother. When the next visitation of Christ come up on the scene, brother, he's only we alone going to get redeemed from here, bro. No other risk. No, bro, listen. Everybody going to die here, bro. Right here. 
It's not like in Egypt, it's just few people. No, right here, everybody going to die right here, bro. For the things, for the strategy and all the things, what they do to us, bro. That's what God said. God said, I'm going to kill men for you, bro. You understand? That's what God said. Right here. You see what I'm saying? Give me that. Mm-hmm. What? 169. Huh? 169. No, no, no. That's that alone. Mm-hmm. Oh. Blessed be the Lord God of mm-hmm. Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. Give me Malachi 4, verse 4. These are the things, bro, where we have to put in mind. Don't let nobody break you, bro. Don't let nobody take your glory, bro. You understand the most? I said, oh, what a glory that they going to be, bro. You understand? Let me see where Malachi comes from. Let me see. Read that for me. Malachi chapter 4, verse 4. Mm-hmm. Remember ye the law of Moses, my servant. You see what I'm saying? So the most I said, we, we, we must remember because we, we other people like to forget stuff. You understand? The most I said, we have to remember. Show them this. You understand? The most I said, we're supposed to remember the law of Moses. Come on. My servant, mm-hmm. which I command unto him in Horeb, mm-hmm. for all Israel with the statutes and judgments. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying all Israel with the statutes and judgment. All right, jump from that. Give me Psalms 9, verse 4. Psalms 9, chapter 9, 4. Mm-hmm. verse 4. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Mm-hmm. Thou saddest in the throne, judging right. Judging right, come on. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Go, oh, God said, I going to rebuke the heathen. Oh, God going to rebuke the heathen. Come on, jump to the verse 4. Come on. For thou no, hast. Jump up to verse 8, I mean. Verse sorry. 8. Mm-hmm. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall judge the world in righteousness. Come on. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. Come on. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. Come on. And a refuge in times of trouble. That's all God said he's going to be for us, brother. He's going to be that refuge for us. You understand? In times of trouble. And what? In times of what? For the oppressed and a refuge in times of trouble. Mm -hmm. Verse 10. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. They put their trust in thee. Give me Micah 4 and 10. Micah 4 and 10. Micah 4, verse 10. Mm-hmm. Micah 4 and 10, real quick. Micah chapter 4, verse 10. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, mm-hmm. like a woman in travail. Like a woman in travail, come on. For now shalt thou go forth out the city, mm-hmm. out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, mm-hmm. and thou shalt go even to Babylon. Mm-hmm. There shall, there shall thou be delivered. Mm-hmm. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the land of thine, from the hand of thine enemies. So I'm saying to the most I tell you, this land, bro, is when, when we get redeemed, is only the Israelite. God, that's what I'm saying. They shall go to Babylon and they he shall what? Redeem. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. You understand? That's what God said. Exodus 15 and 13. Exodus 15 and 13. That's what God said. He's going to redeem us from this land, bro. For real. Real talk. We're going to get redeemed from here. You know what a real is going to come and, uh, like when we do it around me, he tell about a lot of strange people come out with us. No, mm, not here. Come on. Exodus chapter 15, verse 13. Mm-hmm. Thou in thy mercy has led forth the people mm-hmm. which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in, in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. So I'm saying, so read it one more time again, what God said. Verse 13, mm-hmm. thou in thy mercy has led forth the people which thou has redeemed. Everybody know who God redeemed. It's the same people we're talking about right now. You understand? That's what God said. Isaiah 59, verse 20. Isaiah 59 and 20. That's what God said. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. What? And the Redeemer shall come to Zion. Come on. And unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. That's what God said. That's what God said. The Redeemer going to come to Zion and them that turn from what? Their iniquity, which is sin, to what? 
in Jacob, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. No, 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 no. Jump over. Jump over to Isaiah. Give me Isaiah real quick. Isaiah. Give me Isaiah 49, verse 26. Isaiah chapter 49, verse 26. Yep. And I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Moses said to the people who oppressed us right here, he said they're going to feed them with their own flesh. Come on. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. I'm talking about when they want breakfast or they want something to eat, brother, that's what they're going to eat. And they're going to drink their own blood like it's sweet wine. After that time, they're going to refuse it. They're going to rebel. But after that time, they're going to say, okay, I like this. Don't they like to drink blood here? They eat big swine blood. Yeah, and, and They eat it. They, they eat, eat it. it. They make cakes with it. And God said, at time, gonna, we're going to break them down. That's it. Like, eat their own flesh. And they're going to drink the blood like with sweet wine. Because when there is no food for them, what are they going to do? Come on. And all the flesh shall know that I, the Lord, and thy Savior, uh -huh. and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. That's what God said. Everybody going to know that. Everybody going to know that. But people have to die, bro. People have to die. You understand? For real. So give me Psalm 111, verse 9. The Redeemer. The Redeemer. Which is your Redeemer, bro? It's not everybody, bro. Everybody cannot redeem out of here, bro. People have to die. People have to get killed for you, bro. You know precious years, bro? It's a life after shed, blood, blood after shed for you, bro. Come on, read. Psalms chapter 111, verse 9. Mm -hmm. He sent redemption unto his people. He sent redemption unto his people. Come on. He have commanded his covenant forever. For what? Forever. I feel like it's just for the time when you get out of Egypt. It's forever. It's forever, bro. It's forever. Romans 3, verse 24. It's forever. It's forever. Our Redeemer going to be forever, bro. You understand? For real. These are the things, bro, where we have to come back to. You understand? And ask mommy this. Ask mommy this. Can mommy read the Bible? You understand? Everybody likes to read the book of Psalms, too. Come on. Romans chapter 3, verse 24. Uh -huh. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. You see what I'm saying? So when Christ lived his life, bro, he just died to redeem us as a people. You understand? The blood was shed in that shed for the whole entire earth. He's not every people on the planet earth, bro. The, the, the blood what shed is to redeem us as a people, bro. The Israelites. Luke 2 verse 38. That's what the Bible said. That's what the Bible said, bro. And I have to give God thanks and praise for that. You understand? It said, we are the people what Christ lived on his life, bro, because if there is no help like that, bro, we would have died in this case. See what the president trying to do. I mean, hardly had a Caucasian race. Come on, read. Luke chapter 2, verse 38. Mm -hmm. And she coming, and she coming in that instant gave thanks likewise unto the Lord mm -hmm. and spake of him mm -hmm. to all them that look for redemption in Jerusalem. All what? All them that look for redemption in Jerusalem. The only person, the only way you can get redemption, unless you are native, you understand? Come from Jerusalem. Brother, I'm telling you real talk. That's the only way you can get redemption, bro. You're supposed to understand, say, okay, the land you was born there, you understand, just like where you see, they was talking about Paul was a Roman citizen. No, it's not like that, bro. You understand? You just, uh, no, you have to come from that land, bro. You see? For real. Isaiah 43, verse 1. You understand? I pray your brothers and your sister get something out of this where you can show mama and you can show daddy. Say, daddy, look at this. You understand? Your brother was going from here to there, new to old. You understand? To show that redemption is only for the Israelites. Read that for me. Isaiah chapter 43, verse 1. But now thus said the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, he have formed, he have formed thee, O Israel. Mm -hmm. Fear not. Come on. For I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. You see what God did? God redeemed us and called us by his name. Jump down to verse 3 real quick. Come verse on. 3. Mm -hmm. For I am the Lord thy God, mm -hmm. the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. Thy Savior, come on. I gave Egypt for thy ransom. I tell you right here, brother. Why did you get Egypt for your ransom for? Come on. Ethiopia and Seba for thee. Come on. Since thou hast waste precious in my sight. Come on. Thou hast been honorable. Come on. And I have loved thee. Come on. Therefore, I, I will, therefore will I give men for thee. Doth God say people have to die, bro. You understand? Come on. And people for thy life. And people have to die. 
If you want to get out of here, bro, you have to pray for destruction upon this race, bro. Upon this place where we are, bro. You understand? People have to die. So if you don't want your salvation, okay. You know you're going to get it. People have to die, bro. So if you have a white boss where you like so much, for real, I understand. And you like the little kid, well, oh, I was like, oh, well, Bobby, what's going on, Bobby? No. You're going to die. Everybody, bro, everybody going to die here. So I pray your brothers and your sister get something out of this class. With that, we're going to say shalom, Mosa, and Christ bless. Shalom, Mosa, and Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.